Ahoy, my friends! Welcome aboard our channel today as we embark on an epic voyage into the thrilling world of pirates, privateers, and buccaneers during the golden age of sailing. Prepare to hoist the Jolly Roger and set sail as we embark on this swashbuckling voyage through pirate history. But beware! These seas are filled with danger, treachery, and intrigue. If you're ready to join us as we navigate this voyage through maritime warfare and history, then join us now as we set sail for the unknown. In the dawn of sailing, three distinct groups dominated the high seas – pirates, privateers, and buccaneers. Pirates were outlaws who engaged in criminal activity for personal gain without allegiance to any nation. Privateers, on the other hand, were legal pirates sanctioned by governments to target enemy vessels during times of war. Buccaneers were a particular breed of pirate primarily active in the Caribbean region, known for their brutal tactics and fierce independence. Pirates such as Edward Teach, better known by his alias Blackbeard, and William Kidd, aka Captain Kidd, were two of the most notorious. Blackbeard began his reign of terror in 1716, plundering both Caribbean waters and colonies along the eastern seaboard for two years. Captain Kidd initially worked as a privateer but turned to piracy when unable to locate enough enemy vessels for plunder. Unfortunately for both men, Blackbeard was eventually killed in battle while Kidd was executed for his crimes. The Golden Age of Piracy occurred from the late 17th to early 18th centuries. Piracy posed a serious threat to global trade during this time, and tales of their exploits spread far and wide. Factors contributing to this surge included the end of the War of Spanish Succession and an abundance of valuable goods coming from the New World. With so many unemployed sailors and plenty of targets available, piracy flourished in places like the Caribbean, West Africa, and American colonies. Privateers were an essential element in maritime warfare during the Age of Sail. Governments would issue letters of mark, giving privateers permission to attack and capture enemy ships during conflict times. These licensed pirates shared their spoils with their governments, making privateering a lucrative yet semi-legal profession. Notable examples include Sir Francis Drake, an English hero famous for circumnavigating the globe while harassing Spanish shipping. The term buccaneer derives from the French phrase buccaneer, meaning to smoke meat over an open flame. These men were originally hunters on Hispaniola, but as European powers jockeyed for control of the Caribbean, they turned to piracy as a means of survival. Beloved for their fierce independence, these buccaneers formed an elite society that valued democracy and equality above all else. Their brutality and cunning made them formidable adversaries, inspiring fear into those who crossed their path. From fearsome pirates like Blackbeard to daring privateers like Sir Francis Drake, the Age of Sail was filled with adventure, danger, and daring on the high seas. We've seen how pirates, privateers, and buccaneers each played their role in shaping history's course. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing.